hi ladies i am fatu diva thank you so much for watching how are you guys doing all right so being a queen is a state of mind you know state of mind it is not how you look the things you wear the material things you own or whether you are a wife a mother or just a single lady doing your thing it is a state of mind sisters I'm learning that every day as I learn to take control of my feelings and harness my feminine power, harness my inner queen and build my confidence in my life. I don't need a man to do that. I need a man to compliment that though. And yes, I am in my 40s still trying to be that woman. Unfortunately, we can get distracted in life. Life happens. But also remember, it's not something that you achieve in a day. Sometimes it takes a lifetime. But you need to keep working on it, sisters. I'm not giving up. These days I wake up. Actually, most days I wake up feeling like a queen. And sometimes I wake up feeling miserable and negative and petty. Not befitting a, um, a queen at all. But that's okay as long as I check myself and realize when I'm not up to par. And then I can fix it, you know, switch from negative to positive, you know. Um, a queen does not compete with other queens over success, over men. A queen goes to another queen and says, sister, I like what you're doing. I want to be just like you. Will you help me? good job i really want to do what you're doing you inspire me and the response should be of course dear sister thank you for that and i will help you get where you need to be of course in an ideal world we should all get along and these things should happen but that's not always going to happen but a queen does not enjoy embarrassing or humiliating another woman she finds a way to resolve issues or walks away like a queen and realizing or realizes that it was just not meant to be. A queen does not seek revenge or share secrets that we once shared um, together as friends publicly just because we're not friends anymore. A queen does not attempt to steal another woman's husband and break up the family he already has. Now I'm going to be very clear, and as a queen, I have a right to choose the life I want to live. And I mean no disrespect, but personally, I will never be part of this type of a family, and that's my choice. However, sharing husbands is a thing in our society, and once a queen accepts this and decides to stay, then she must do everything to stay in harmony with the other queen she shares that man with. Even become allies. I know some men don't want this, but don't mind them. It's not about them, but you refusing to be pitted against each other in competition for the benefit of a man. Be good wives and good co-wives once you accept. Love the husband you share. Treat him well. But remember to also treat each other well, women. Ladies, treat each other well. Now I promise you, ladies, that I will not be that petty sister. I will uplift you. I will inspire you. I will be inspired by you, and I will motivate you. I will defend your womanhood if need be. Even if I don't know you, even if you hate me, even if I dislike you, we are, we are all women and we have had it rough, we have had it tough, and we have been pitted against each other for so long. It's no more. Let's stand together. So when you call yourself queens, my Gambiana sisters, think about what that means. Think about what it means to be a true queen, to be an empress, to be a true linger. I don't know most of you. But I love you, my sisters. So many of you inspire me. You just don't know. Thank you for watching.